Hello my friends and welcome to another pick a card reading. I hope you're doing really really well. Um, and this pick a card is just a small simple message from the universe. A little message for you from the universe. So I've got three piles for you to choose from. Pile one, pile two and pile three. Messages from the universe. Timestamps will be in the description box below and I'll see you at your reading. Bye. Hi, Pub One, and welcome to your reading. So we've got your um your your card here. Bear me one second. Okay, let's have a look at what your card is. Wow, trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to where to who you are. Let your heart lead you to who you are. Really, really interesting image as well, which is grey, but kind of like made out of light as well kind of almost opening the kind of idea of light to the universe, to the openness, to the expanse of the universe. Trusting who you are, trusting where you are, my group one. Okay, so a message from the universe. Let's see what your tarot has to say. But obviously that's the first message, trusting your gut feeling. So trust your gut. We have three, um, well, it's... It's been, there's a theory that we have three brains. We have our, the brain that's in our skull. We have, the, we have our heart, which is a brain. And then we also have our gut, which is also a brain. I know for a fact that if my gut is not feeling right about certain things, I'm out of there. And I do often talk about a, um, the internal guidance system. Um, the gut definitely forms part of that. So my brain is like the... The rational thinking part, the heart is the feeling part, and then the gut is the is the kind of is the decision maker. I would say is the one that that decides whether or not to go for it or not. Is the is the one that says yes or no. Is really the boss. So maybe trusting your gut feelings is the right thing to do. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles. Interesting Eight of Cups. So that was almost reversed. The Nine of Pentacles, wow. The Six of Wands. Okay. For those of you that used to watch my daily reads, I've been really dying to do those. So I'm going to be pulling eight cards to remind, to, to be like similar to what that was, what I used to do. Because I liked it. Okay, so we've got a king of pentacles, a queen of swords. We've got five of pentacles, the world reversed, hierophant reversed. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely moving on from a situation. Um, if this is um, your kind of... Uh, if you're asking the cards or confirming um, to see whether or not that this is the right thing to do for you to move away, it really is. Um, I do see you moving away from some kind of thing that has caused you some isolation. Um, you may have felt that somebody has shut you out. Um, and also not allowed you to feel within your independence and now you're moving away from a space where you are in this kind of like a disempowered state and you're moving towards something that is new you know that if you remain in this disempowered state that you'll be staying in some kind of cycle that will be continuous it's a you know old patterns old behaviors something that you really didn't want to stay in and now you know that if you want to break out of that cycle, the key to you moving out of that with these keys going that way towards the Queen of Swords and the Hierophant looking back is by you going to what is unfamiliar. You need to um, cut it off. There needs to be some ties. Now, um, this may be to like, you know, this could be in reference to a job. It could be in reference to, I don't know, I feel like it's to something that has you tied up financially. Um, it has because we've got the 
King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, which says to me that there's something about stability, something that, so for example, it could be that you have a benefactor or you have something, maybe, um, you know, you, you have like, you're, you're living at home or you've got like kind of um, uh, money coming in from or stability coming in from an external um, masculine source. It doesn't necessarily have to be male, but it's just a masculine kind of style figure. Somebody who's like the king of their castle, who has a sense of um, real wealth and dominance. Um, but it's almost like a double-edged sword in the way because what's really interesting about this five of pentacles is that he has a crown on his head and with that it just kind of makes me think that he is the prince he is still a key there is some kind of nobility about him but even in this position it still feels like there is a sense of um poverty so there's a decision to um, move out that poverty and whether or not you're moving away from somebody who does have that status or you're moving into that status it could be it could be like you making a choice to move into that status and moving into the nine of pentacles where you're you're looking at your financial stability you're able to you know move into that um really kind of acquire it for yourself and you'll be really successful at it it won't be too long lasting so this is the kind of challenge where you're going to have to like look at where you can kind of maintain that but um it's almost like also say for example you're leaving a job that you really that, that gave you a lot of money um but then now you you're moving towards your own sense of independence and freedom but you don't know the long term but your kind of clarity of mind from moving into that space of freedom is really going to help you. Like it's going to help you just be free of your mind uh, rather than you getting back. Say, for example, you just look for another job that's going to be like similar to what you had before or you know that you need to like move into another job. So you, you go over that job Um you know uh say for example like you're you know you're not happy with your current job and then you you're like looking for another job but then the that new job that you're looking for kind of simulates everything that you're walking away from so it's about you being able to like completely cut your ties and be okay with that so that's that's kind of what the six of wands here reminds me of it's almost like do i need that to be secure or am i going to really kind of go for what i need and want um and you know, whatever direction this is, even if it is like that you go for another job, um, it doesn't say either or to cut it dry or to, to, you know, look for another job that's similar to that. All it's saying here is that you've got these options here and your gut is the best thing to go for. So I can't really tell you what it is. It's just this reading is, should be confirming that you have got these options and your gut feeling will be the correct one. That's what it's saying. Let's see what the astrology is saying to you, poll one. Pisces. Okay, so there is an ability to kind of... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you are facing a little bit of a challenge in terms of, like, what choice to make about this. Um, I mean, you know, it's totally understandable. But just be patient with yourself. Just take time with yourself. Um, you know, it's. I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if you are thinking that you are, you know, you feel one way one week, one way the other. That may happen. So give yourself some time. But if you, if you are running out of time, I would. My advice for you would be is look at the patterns. Like look at, say, for example, like the last year. How has the last year been? How have you felt on it on a general scale? And then make make a decision out of that. Make like go on your gut instinct about that, about how the last year has been. Reevaluate and review. Um because you know, with the nine of pentacles there and also with the six of wands, you've got a really good opportunity to have stability for yourself, even though it is temporal. But then again, all stability is temporal. Nothing is uh, nothing is permanent. So, you know. It's just about take, being able to take that kind of jump, really. But everything's on your side in the respect to like whatever you decide. Wow, love. True love and fidelity. So what I'm getting from that is that the true love for yourself and, your, and what you actually really want in life is really going to be useful um, for you to just have faith in yourself. 
have truth in yourself really be true to yourself this is what this is about that's why the queen of swords is there is to show that you really you owe it to yourself to show yourself that love so that you can honor your gut feeling i'll just read to you what this is because in this book it has so many beautiful beautiful poems um by all of the um sufi poets um so i will read it to you right sorry my friends there's a lot of s's i thought it was every time i go for s and then it's like t because it's alphabetical which i'm very grateful for that it's alphabetical but i kept on i'm not looking at it properly and then i keep on expecting it to be there and it's not let your heart lead you to who you are each person has been made for some specific work longing for that work has been put into the heart we waste our energy by designing and carrying out plans to become what we already are Rumi. the secret to having a successful life lies in having the combination of love and faith love is the power that makes us fearless and move forward faith develops perseverance in us no matter how long it takes us or the number of challenges that come along the path it takes both love and faith to lead us joyfully to where we're going this oracle brings grace to make you aware of the universe inside of you reach for it by seeking experiences that would open new dimensions of reality to you. Discover what you genuinely care about and make sure that you are being true to what you find. When you completely focus on what you are doing, you are fully immersed in it. You're in a state of flow. Being, a flow, being in a flow makes work effortless. Your creative power increases and you will be inspired and more motivated from within. That's what that love card is saying. So, part three... That's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful, beautiful start to this message from the universe. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Um, do hit the bell icon as well so that you'll know when I upload. Um, if you would like a private reading, please do get in touch um, by my email address that is below. You can also get my, um, th my details on Etsy as well for a reading. But otherwise, you take care, my darlings, and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye. Hi, part two. Welcome to your reading. So, messages from the universe. Do not be frustrated. Let go and be peaceful. I love that. I really love that. Look at those beautiful colours. <sighs> the, the first thing that's coming into my head is let it go, let it go. <laughs> um, from Frozen. So yeah, just let it go. Um, let's see what your tarot has to say. Now, as I said to part one, I just, I've been really missing doing my um, daily pick a card reading. So this is going to be, not daily pick a card reading, daily uh, collective reading. So I'm going to do this in the same kind of style. Six of cups reverse, eight of swords. Well, that makes sense. Eight of swords reversed. Queen of Pentacles and the Sun. Such a beautiful Sun card. I love this Sun card. Absolutely love it. Just the colours as well. And then we've got these colours here. So those purple. So there's definitely some stuff going on with the higher heart chakra, the crown chakra, the third eye chakra. So you're basically the the upper like three chakras, throat, third eye, crown, and upper heart. Okay, and then we've got these pinks. So I don't know, some of you might have been a bit heartbroken by something. Magician reversed. Yeah, may have been taken advantage by someone. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Some of you may have just come out of a narcissistic dynamic. Um, or something. Um, but somewhere where someone... Oh God, yeah... You, 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 you understood something about this person. That's so interesting. They look exactly the same, but they're reversed. You found out that this person took you for a ride. They tried, they took you for a ride. And um, there's a part of you, and it's so good because you actually managed to like get out of it. You managed to like, you managed to, to kind of, they rocked you. 
Big time. They rocked you and they tried to take you for a ride. They really did. They tried, but, you know, and they tried to... And it may have been someone that you knew, like, previously. And then you thought, oh, yeah, I'll give them a chance. I'll give them a chance and I'll see what I can... What 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 can, what will happen. You may have had hopes in the past about you two being together or something like that. It could also have been with a business proposition. Um, so it could have been, like, even, say, for example... I don't think so. I don't think it would be this, but it could be this. Because um, it's... Uh, I don't see justice, but it could have been a house a contract, a contract for you to buy a house. Or it's interesting because we've got these two. Can you see these two? The, temp the temperance card and the sun. It's both in the fetal position. But they're, well, no, actually, that was the right way up. So what what this says to me is that you can get this on your own. You could, You can get, you have this happiness on your own. In fact, you are this sun. This is the energy that you imbue. And you've walked away from that. You've walked, up, not from that, you've walked away from anything that's going to compromise that. Um, because you've realised that this energy here, of this magician reversed, whoever this was, took you away from that happiness, took you away from that peace, um, you know, with that, that temperance reversed, and also the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they, they, they basically tried to promise you something. So it could have been a business proposition where, you know, you've thought that you met the business partner of your dreams or it could have been the partner of your dreams. Um, someone that you thought that you really could have relied on, but then suddenly the sword of truth comes through like the Queen of Swords. But the sword of truth is the um, in the respect of the ace. So it's like stopping it at the beginning. And it's almost like you ignored some red flags, if I'm honest, Paul, too. You ignored some things and then, you know, then it came to light. But it's okay, you know. I know it just had to get to this point, but it's a bit karmic, you know. But hey, they didn't get in too deep, thank God for that. Capricorn. Yeah, they really wanted to, like, get you. <laughs> They knew, they knew that they could get you because you're really hardworking, dedicated. They knew that they could like kind of take advantage, but they tried and they didn't succeed. So it's okay. <laughs> wow. The moon reversed through, you'll be guided through the darkness reversed. So what I'm getting by that is that um, you had to go through the dark in order to be guided. There wasn't, you know, it was it was all happening under underfoot, under, like, you, you almost had to get yourself out of the hole. You couldn't do it, like, while you were in there. Do you know what I mean? And it, maybe you got stung a little bit, I think. But you almost had to go through that in order to understand that about this person because you might not have been. But now you're, like, don't be frustrated that that happened because, you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of the whole process of you kind of understanding that about yourself and realising that, you know, we, we trust people, you know, so don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm going to read this to you. Do not be frustrated. Let go and feel peaceful. Oh, Hafiz, don't be so troubled by the winds of fall in the meadows of life. Come to your senses. Where is a rose without thorn? Feeling unusually frustrated and irritable is an indication of being burnt out. Oh, interesting. Your body may be overwhelmed from life stresses and you may be missing love and excitement in your life. Hafiz re refers to this state as the winds of fall in the meadow of life. This is when we are tempted to run away from others and hide in our own bubble. We forget about our physical, social and spiritual resources that are available to us. Hafiz comes as the oracle to help you recognize that there will never be a time when life is simple. You will find peace of mind only when you accept that there is no need to yearn, envy and grab for what you want. Every moment is a chance to simply let go and feel composed and peaceful. Let that be your centering renewal. Beloved, your soul is surrounded by lovers who move beyond time. There is an ability to give you more to, within you to live more exuberantly than you could ever imagine. If you're experiencing confusion in your life or a feeling that things are not going your way, this Sufi wisdom reminds you that there is time that it is a time for some adjustment. Surrender to the flow that is guiding you away from what seems to be your comfort zone. Allow yourself to be more aligned with your spiritual growth. 
and above all, make time for more leisure and exp um, and relaxation. So, yeah, clear message there. But I mean, generally, yeah, right. It may be quite difficult for you to trust people, which I don't, I don't blame you considering this this spread. So what I would say is just, uh, I think you do have faith in people, pile two. I just think that you know maybe you got stung a little bit by this person or situation, and um, and I think it's a person. Um, but you know, I think you you got out with a lucky escape. So, yeah, I think it was a good thing. So the mess, so the universe is telling you, do not be frustrated with this experience. Learn from it. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. If you'd like a personal reading, please do get in touch with me via my email, which is down in the description box below. Please do hit the bell icon as well so that you can get subscribed for more or you'll get let know of more um, videos when I upload. But otherwise, my darlings, you take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. So, a message for you from the universe. Ending a trauma. Transform memories and symptoms. Hmm. Beautiful card there, Pile 3. The ending of something big. The light that's there showing you that you've come to the ending. Hmm. The universe is showing you the light, Pile 3. It's saying to you that it's okay. And the light is uh, there. You can trust that the light is there. Now, as I said to you, Pile 1 and Pile 2, I'll be doing this in the same kind of style as I used to do my kind of collective readings which is just kind of getting eight cards out here so you're ending some kind of trauma that may be connected to the mother line maybe some childhood trauma in relation to to that it doesn't necessarily have to be the mother it could be to do with the grandmother or the father's mother but there's something to do with the maternal character that was here but this is time wow justice and strength yeah this is big even though it's a short reading it's still big oh god okay right So two aces again. So similar message in a way to pile two, actually. Except yours is a little bit bigger. So, yeah, as I mentioned, it definitely is. It feels like something to do with like childhood trauma or something like that. Um, something to do with something that happened earlier on. Um, it may be reflected in your patterning with relationships. This is really clear, this message, actually. Um, some of you may be in a different stage. Some of you may be in a divorce or something like that. Or you may be in, um, you know, an early relationship. I am seeing something as possible, as serious as a divorce. Um, definitely with the Ace of Pentacles reverse as well. Because, um, but it's almost like, you know, I, I do get a feeling that may have been, may have been entering into a relationship at too young um or yeah there's been some i wouldn't say ignoring red flags but like maybe not quite yeah definitely not quite um you know missing things about communication quite early on in the relationship and then just going for it and trying to make it work but then, you know, I don't know, I just get this thing of like codependency and not very, um, you know, I'm, I think this relationship in particular might have been something to do with love. So the situation that I'm seeing right here, and remember, this isn't applicable to everyone. This is just what I'm seeing. And this is the style I used to read when I did the dailies. Um, it's basically that I see 
two people, they had quite a fiery relationship or quite like a, you know, it wasn't all great all the time, but you still kind of persevered with the relationship and it might have evolved into some kind of commitment, may have been a marriage. Um, but um, what's really becoming obvious is that this is triggering some kind of like patterning and behavior that has come from um, parents um, or um, caregivers. And it's taken a lot of strength and courage to kind of like work through this. What's really good is that you are working through it. And the reason why I kind of reference it to that kind of childhood trauma or something to do with like the relationships that you saw was because we've got the Six of Cups here and we've also got this ending in a trauma card. And that says to me that this is about, <clears throat> this is about something that's to do with the younger stages of life. Also because we've got two aces as well and then it goes to the Two of Swords. So from the Ace of Swords to the Two of Swords reverse. So there was an initial kind of like wanting to communicate about something or wanting to have some kind of desire manifested but it just got misconstrued so it may have been like the way that a parent communicated with you and it might not have been very good so but what this is saying is that you're starting to realize that this happened um, and, you know, the whole thing about trauma is that understanding, or my understanding is it, and from the people that I've been working with about it, it's just understanding that we're not, we're all in a position where we're acting from a space of that if it's being incurred on someone. So it's usually, if, you know, hurt people hurt people. Let's just put it that way. So that's what I see from here. And you kind of understand that really well. And the song Lionheart, um, by Monsters and Men. Check it out. It's a beautiful song, really beautiful song. I'm always in tears whenever I listen to it. And that rem that just came up when I looked at that lion. It's a really beautiful video as well. So yeah, check it out. Again, a bit emotional thinking about it. Wow, and love is reversed here interesting yeah then this is to do with this is to do with relationships i think because uh, you know that's how i don't know but like that's how we understand about ourselves i think in a way about like who we are about how we interact and what our interpersonal relationships are that's how we discover who we truly are okay you got the sun did get another card, I'll take it for you. Whoa, what the fudge cakes. Full moon and the sun, wow. Deeply transformational for you, pile three. My pile threes are always the deep ones, isn't it? I love you, pile threes, but you are deep, you know? Um... <laughs> oh, my readings wouldn't be my readings without you, though. I love it. It's almost like Goldilocks, you know, you have three different types. <laughs> I wouldn't say that part two is just right, though. They're just all very different. Um, so you've got the full moon and then you've got the sun. So I, I don't know how much more powerful that you can get, but this is like a real rebalancing of your divine masculine and your divine feminine that has been triggered by an imbalance in love. So I really do feel that you are starting to understand the types of partners that you attract. You're really starting to understand your, your I don't know if you know about um, your attachment styles or anything like that, but I really do, I really do get this resonance from this pile. Um, yeah, it's just really strong. So I'm going to read you the poem that comes with this ending a trauma card. Transform memories and symptoms. Do not allow your soul to be oppressed. Where the part of you goes, the rest of you eventually follows. And that's Rabia. This oracle is like a gentle lover guiding you to cope with your reactions to stress and envision yourself in a position of power. Even if you are not a victim of trauma, actively coping is a way to responding to the challenges of everyday life. This oracle is inspiring you to trust your life, trust that your life is guided. 
Unseen spirits flow through the wisdom of Sufi mystics. They come to help you overcome the feeling of helplessness and to encourage you to be the best that you can be. They're inviting you to accept the impact of the trauma on your life and take direct action to improve how you respond to it. Dear one, know that you are loved in many ways. And you are, and you may not... Oh, okay, that doesn't make sense. Dear one, know that you are, lo you are much loved in ways that you may not e always experience. There we go. You must dare to challenge old definitions of yourself by identifying them as false and recognising that they were based on circumstances that were not in your control. When you feel the full pain of your past and process and make sense of it, you can resolve your trauma. This will alter your path into the future. If you feel anxiety, for instance, you can accept and recognise the feeling, but direct your attention to something else. Watch your thoughts, perceptions and emotions flash through your mind without being involved with them emotionally. Thoughts are just thoughts. You don't have to believe them, nor let them guide your behaviour. Know that there is support all around you. Creativity is a way for you to express your feelings in a positive and innovative way. By getting involved in uplifting activities, you can improve your mood and rebuild your life. So, I mean, take what you will, but like what I'm seeing here, this is a real breaking of a pattern. It's deeper than that. But it may not be deeper for, for you, but with that full sun and moon, I don't know, I feel like something's cracked, like an egg or something like that. Something's cracked, and there's a really famous saying by Rumi, which is, um, the cracks are where the light gets in, and that's what's happening. I'm just seeing this light here, and this light of this sword, and the full moon and the sun. You can't get more light than that. And also the sun is Leo as well. Um, sorry, yeah, the strength is Leo. Leo is representative of the sun. A lot of big, strong strength there, Paul, uh, Paul three. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I also get the word redemption as well. So I hope you enjoyed that little message from the universe. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell icon if you want to know when I upload. Um, also, if you'd like to have a personal reading, get in touch via Etsy or in the description box below in my um, with my email. That's probably the best way. Um, but otherwise, you take care, my darlings, and I'll speak to you really soon. Take care. Bye.